Welcome everyone to Nerdstradamus, I'm Dr. Pants. I'm Lambo. And it's time once again for an episode of Special, special stages. stages! An episode of Nerdstradamus where we talk about our favorite special levels or stages of a video game that we love. Today we're going to be looking at another Mega Man X level called Storm, Storm Eagle. Eagle. So, if you can't tell, we love Mega Man X. We've talked about it a lot. But Storm Eagle, it's, it's epic, it's fast, it's got a great soundtrack to it, and it's one of the levels in the game that has more hidden items than a lot of other levels mm -hmm. so we're gonna go through we're gonna try to perfect that level find every hidden item and show you all the secrets all the while beating it on one go and if you like nurse Thomas, remember to like comment and subscribe and share that puppy afterwards to your grandma oh yes or just your friends who like video games but for now let's play that game <laughs> Are you ready for some Storm Eagle? I'm always ready for Storm Eagle. Every part of this level. By the way, isn't Storm Eagle just the, the coolest looking boss? <laughs> uh, just so cool uh, looking. He is really cool looking. I don't know if he's the coolest Mega Man X boss ever. No, not in the, ever, but he's a really cool He's a really boss. cool looking boss. And just that awesome song. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh. Just, it's amazing. And uh, this level is, of course, an airport because Storm Eagle is a bird, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe his backstory is he like he commands the Air Force or something. Something like that. Something like that. Now, unlike our uh, Chill Penguin video, we're gonna be able to actually take you through everything and show you all the hidden little uh, jobbies all over the place. Right. So right away over to the left, we have these giant. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Probably just gas tanks, I imagine. Now, yeah, the first time you ever see them, you're gonna realize that they actually take damage, and they sound sort of like like the way a boss sounds when they get hit. Right. It it sounds like an enemy taking damage, so you just keep shooting and shooting and shooting, and eventually. They open up, and there's a bunch of them throughout this level. If you learn it early in the level, obviously, then there's a lot of cool stuff you can break open, because there's another one of those on every level going up here, and there's a couple hiding some uh, really nice stuff down the road. Nice yes. save, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> um, so before I go to the right here, I am going to get one thing up on the left. So just watch how we do it. We're going to use our legs, and we're going to kind of slide jump, and all the way over, and oh, there's a heart tank. Nice. How would you know it was there? Well, you hope there it's there, because when you're down there in the beginning of the level, you're like, oh, I want to get up there. Yeah. It almost beckons you to come on. And actually, that's the thing in Mega Man X games, is you always always check the beginning of the level. Yeah, go backwards, jump on the wall, there's always little things everywhere. I'm going to go over here with the yeah. other night guy. Blow him up. I hate those guys so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. The stupid shield. You almost, like, it's almost more worth it to just get it done fast and take a hit from them. Of course, <laughs> you get Storm Eagle's weapon, and they become much easier to kill. Yeah. There's that, and this guy's back, so let's... I hate those guys, too. Just jump over here. And I don't believe there's another... Or is that... I think there is one. There yeah. is? Okay. <laughs> one on every level going up. And, of course, um, I, I really think these are just here to maybe refill your sub-tanks or something like that. Uh, Which we don't even have yet. We don't even have sub-tanks yet, so... Uh, but that's about to change. <laughs> it is. It is. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Now, I remember playing through this level a lot when I was younger without the, the legs, and it makes a lot of these parts way harder. Oh, yeah. Oh, why yeah. would you play through it without the legs? So, real quickly, this thing right here. Now, that's an enemy that shows up a lot in the game. It is. But this weird moving up and down contraption is unique. So, I, I just... There's only one of them in the whole game. Okay, so I, I, jump on it. I can jump on it. Now, if you don't wait, you just assume yeah. it's done, but you can ride on it up then, and then you've got here. Yeah. And if you want, you can go across the top... And there's yeah, nothing sorry. there. I know last time I made you uh, do this. Now, there it is. That's a sub tank. Sub tank. Sub tanks were, they replaced like E tanks from the old Mega Man games where. But they were refillable. <laughs> these are refillable. E tanks were already full and you just burned them. But these you fill on your own. Any extra health you get then will we'll fill it up. And of course, we're going to kill this guy because when Watch you... this awesomeness. Yes! Why? Other than <laughs> to be really cool. And I'm going to jump and land on that one because. Yeah can avoid that guy then mm -hmm. and this part is super ridiculously stupid without the legs uh, i can only imagine yeah because when those guys shoot you with their fire it, it actually pushes you back a little bit yep. so if you're trying to make a normal jump without the yeah without that <laughs> yeah you just it ain't gonna happen yeah i'm gonna avoid him because i actually just do, don't want to <laughs> waste time on them nice but I am going to kill this one because, yeah. oh, hey. Hey, look at those things down there. Now, this one's annoying because you can't just sit there and shoot at it. So no, it's you got you to gotta do that combination wall jump, kick off, shoot, all that stuff. Yeah. All skills that you got to get really <laughs> good at in this game. All right. 
And uh, this one's really long. And oh, it's an extra light. Nice. So uh, totally worth it. And of course, he respawns, but I'm just gonna avoid him. Yeah. I think this is one of the only levels in the game to have a, a heart tank, a sub tank, and, and a piece of armor. And a piece of armor. Yeah. Uh, what's the other? There is another one. Isn't there maybe stinger? No. Flame Mammoth. Flame Mammoth? Oh, yeah, Flame yeah, Mammoth. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we actually didn't know that one we for a long time. but figure uh, that one out years later. So, I gotta mention in this, like, the first time I played this game, I didn't know how to do the slide jump. Yeah, even And though, I kept trying to, like, even jump. Even though we had the legs, like. The slide jump, it doesn't teach you how to do it, and I kept trying to, like, just jump off and land here, because there's something up there and you can't get it, but now I know that if you hit the dash button and the jump button at the same time, you kick off and go much further. Yeah. It's, it's just a skill that, like, you get better at as you play the game. Right, and this is actually the only one of those you bust open this level that has something you need behind it. Yeah. Because it's an armor capsule, and I'm going to blow through Dr. Light's yeah. dialogue. Because it's, it's... Mega Man! It's a helmet. You can break it's blocks with it. You can break blocks with it, which... Most useless <laughs> Mega Man X helmet ever. Because there's only a couple of spots in the whole game where you need to break the blocks. Right. And actually, it affects the way you uh, uh, jump. So when you jump on the side of it there... Like, jump on the side. Yeah, like that. How it breaks them when you jump on them like that. You can't break those without that? No, the, the helmet actually gives you that ability. Oh. Kind of weird, right? That is weird. <laughs> I actually didn't know it because I always just get the helmet. Yeah, I know, because when you get the helmet and you get to the parts of the game where you need to, it's you already have it. Oh, there's a life. Yeah, man. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> get a life. Ha, ha, ha. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Um, those guys, what are they the, called? Uh, <laughs> Medites? Me oh, yeah. Medi I, 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 I forget what they're called. Yeah. They make an appearance here in this level. And uh, for those who don't know, they're, they're Mega Man bad guys from the very first Mega Man game. Like, they've been around forever. And these guys, who were from the very first level of Mega Man X, the, yeah. the giant Hornet tank drops them. Cool. Now, uh, this level's a little longer than the uh, show a little bit more to do. A little more dynamic, I think. But the ending to it is, is different than any other two, because there's not that little uh, area in between. There kind of is, but we're gonna avoid it. Yeah. So we get up here and we're on a we're on a ship. Yeah. And, and uh, those enemies show up for the probably the only time in the game. I I think so. Or yeah. they might come back from one place. Now in the, the game beckons you, of course, to go through the customary door. Right. It's right there. But this is interesting. You can drop down here and there's Look, weapon there's energy. stuff there. Like they want you to go do this. And now sure. I can just jump on this platform. And here's where the actual boss battle is. It just boom <laughs> breaks open. Now, also, if you pay attention to the background, it's obvious you're going up with the way the clouds are going. Yeah. Should I do this without dashing, by the way? Uh, you can try. <laughs> now, the first few times I've ever played it, I did it without dashing, and this is what it's like. <laughs> it's awful, and you're, you're going to die a lot and stuff. If he nails you with the with that thing right there... Yeah. So you. I, I, I had to dash. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. So you need to kind of stay towards the middle. So if you don't have the leg, that's what's going to happen. So yeah, that's why you should play children's playing with first. Yeah, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the claw formation yeah. on this though. So. Now typically his weakness is the uh, sting chameleons, um, but I the only time I've ever used it on him is honestly in the uh, the sigma levels. Because, well, yeah, uh, because sting chameleons like one of the later ones. Yeah. And actually, I, I avoid using it on him because it's also the weakness of the boss right after. Him. Oh, it's true, it is. Isn't it? But uh, it's just an awesome looking boss. And I gotta say, like the first few times playing through. It's really difficult to kind of tell what he's going to do, where he's coming from, especially the, these dives and stuff. Oh, yeah. In Maverick Hunter X, he flies from the bottom, too. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah, it makes it way annoying. Oh, man, I've only played Maverick Hunter X, like, once. For those who don't know, that's the PSP remake with 3D graphics. Yeah. But, uh, and now if you look, like, the clouds are moving in a different direction. It's obvious the ship is falling, yeah. which is actually key, because if you do this level before Spark Mandrill... It changes Spark Mandrill's level. Yeah, usually the beginning has these difficult uh, electrical pulses that you have to dodge. You have to jump over and everything, but because the ship falls, it actually crashes through Spark Mandrill's level, and those sparks are all gone because it breaks the circuit. And it changes it. So, uh, one of the cool things about this... I mean, this game came out in what, like 93, 94? What did it say in the beginning? Uh, I don't Something remember. Like I want to say 93. Yeah, so, uh, you know, just a really cool dynamic way to kind of make the, you know, the stuff you do in the game really meaningful. And actually, the same thing happens with uh, Chill Penguin and Flame Mammoth. If you beat Chill Penguin's level before Flame Mammoth, all the flames are gone. Mm -hmm. And if you beat uh, Launch Octopus before Sting Chameleon... There's water everywhere. Yeah, it's all flooded underneath the spots where you... And that helps you get to some of the hidden items. Exactly, yeah. So, so uh, it's, it's actually important to do this... this <laughs> to, like, play this game in a particular order. 
And of course, since we've been doing this game, playing this game for so many years, we, we kind of have our order nailed down a little bit. Right, and maybe someday we'll, we'll race it for all <laughs> of you to see because... Yes. While we're not speedrunners and we're not professionals, we do, we're do. we really good at this game. <laughs> we love it. We do love so it. So good. And, uh, but yeah, that was that was Storm Eagle, another classic level from one of our favorite games, Mega Man X. A special stage in our hearts. But uh, if you enjoyed this epi episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. We're there and we're everywhere. Mm -hmm. But, uh... For Nerd Shadamas, this has been Special Stages. I'm Dr. Pants. I'm Lambo. And we'll catch you around some other time.